What is up guys? And in this video, I'm gonna show you the earthquake effect, AKA the glitch shake effect, whatever you wanna call it. My name is Peter. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe for your daily dose of helping you become a bitter, bitter, better video content creator. And let's get into this video. So if you don't know what the earthquake effect is, you'll commonly see it in sports videos or highlight reels. For example, a good example of this is a running back hitting against a defensive guard or a basketball player going for a slam dunk. You'll usually see this in sports where it's really good for these action type of shots to give it a little bit of a little jazz to your clip and any sort of motion or running, it is a good way to use, but at the same time, just like any other effect, you don't want to overdo it. And I'm gonna jump right into Adobe Premiere, show you two different ways. First is the complete beginner, if you're really a noob at Adobe Premiere. This is one of the ways where it's super easy. And then the second tip I'm gonna show you with the earthquake effect is a little bit more advanced if you watch all the way till end. I'll show you how to jazz it up. And also, link in the description, you can check out any of my free resources to help you get your first camera and figure out whether or not video editing is for you. And enough yapping, Peter, let's get into the video. And first, before I play any effects, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch the clip and I'm gonna see where all the action is. So in this case, it's a boxer. So I'm gonna have a keyframe every time he punches the bag. You can have this either on the clip itself or on your sequence. Here and here. Okay, I'm gonna watch that again to see if the keyframes are proper and it looks like they are. Next, for the beginner stage of the earthquake effect, what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna want to hold Alt and duplicate the layer. Next, I'm going to see where the punch lands. I'm gonna cut there. And pretty much I want the effect to not go longer than three to four frames. And next on this second layer, you want to go into your effect control panels. You want to zoom in the scale a bit. For this clip, it's at 116. Then I'm going to lower the opacity to, let's say, it's really up to you. You can play around with it. I'm going to, you can go with 87. And before we even do anything, you can see there's this little, almost like a pseudo motion blur effect. Next, what you want to do is you want to go into your position scale here, your uh, stopwatch, your toggle animation, and you want to go forward, and you can either go up a couple keyframes, and then you go to your next keyframe, and you can go down. And you go to your next keyframe, and you go left, and your next keyframe, drag this out a little longer, and you go, you can go right. So what we have there is what we essentially did is just keyframe a little shake to it. And it is really that simple. That is the secret sauce to this earthquake effect. Now let's see what it looks like when you play it back. Boom, boom. So it looks like when he punches the bag, the whole screen shakes. And you, if you wanna make this even more believable, you have a little bit of sound design to it. You add a little punching bag, so it'll be like, push. Yes, that is me making a human sound effect. <laughs> You can just save this, you click on this, you control A, select all, and you save preset, and you can have this as punch, zoom, quake, or whatever you wanna name it, right? So now you have this little preset here that has a little bit of a zoom effect to your clip. So then the next time he punches, one, two, three, four, five, cut here, you cut here, and then you just go into here, and you just drag that punch zoom preset that you just made onto this clip. And now, as you can see, without me needing to go back frame by frame, all I needed was just to copy this and then drag it onto here. And now we have that same effect. You can space out these keyframes as well. So let's say I didn't want to have that keyframe and I wanted to do it from scratch again. So like I said, Depending on your opacity, you can put it at 70. 
how much you want to zoom in, zoom out, it's really up to you. For me, what I notice is one, two, and then all I need to do is drag this clip a little longer and just select all the keyframes, hold alt, and then what you do is just duplicate it instead of doing the keyframes over and over. And as you can see, it's almost like a little earthquake effect for you. And then for the second part, if you're watching, you're still watching, I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced technique is I'm going to, instead of doing keyframes with the actual motion, I'm just going to my effects and I'm going to look for under distort is transform. So same thing applies. You have your same, almost your motion effects. So I'm just going to keyframe it here. Go into this. And uh, before I go anything, I, I want to uncheck this and scroll this up and it will create motion blur. And then I want to zoom in a little bit, just like the first effect. Lower my opacity. Let's leave it at 100 and let's go 105. And then now, same thing, I click the second clip. Go to your transform, save preset, punch quake. So instead of doing that same thing over and over, and as you can see here, because I have that motion blur effect with the transform tool, so I don't have to apply a directional blur, super simple. I go to my second clip. That's already, I know the exact where it needs to be cut out. Punch in, punch quake, drag and drop. Super simple. And there is your punch earthquake effect. All within. Adobe Premiere without using After Effects, super simple. And like I said, all it is is you're using a duplicate layer. You put it on top and you can change the position. You keyframe it so you're physically moving left, up, right, down. So it's a little shake, but don't make it too long. And you want to make it to the duration of whatever motion. This is great if it's like a slam dunk, if it's like a running back going for a touchdown and celebrating or a boxer punching a punching bag. As you can see here, I'm just going to play around super quick right now. So it's, it's on normal, but I'm going to do color dodge you can also see what it looks like with a lighter color make sure you're clicking the clip and we can also do with there's a lot of different ways and and looks you can even invert this clip so it looks like it's going like x-ray type of vision and honestly with the different amount of creativity that you can do with these clips you can really get creative by just using Adobe Premiere. And like I said, guys, that is how you do the punch, earthquake, camera shake effect shown by yours truly, Peter from Broke Visionary Collective. Now that you know what the earthquake effect is, you can do it at home now and you'll see exactly, whoa, it's that easy. Yes, it is that easy. And thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, subscribe. What are you doing? And you can be a part of the Broke Visionary family. And you're watching me, Peter, where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something. Make sure you grab all my resources you want, whether that's two free months on Skillshare, whether you want to get my free camera guide, or maybe you're a little adventurous and you actually want to learn how to use a camera, even if you're a complete beginner, get my guide down below, my premium class course. And yeah, man. Let's start creating something from nothing. Cheers.